Eastern Africans derived from ancient Nubia are one of the tallest people in the world. And there could be a case made these people's average height can be even taller than that of the average tallest countries today. This includes the Netherlands versus the average height in some of these villages. In some villages, if you're 6'2", you are considered short. And in others, you may be short even at 6'4 and 6'5". Now just imagine how tall is normal and then how much taller are the ones considered tall from within their villages. Modern science associates the tall stature of Nubians to their protein high diet and their physical adaptations to climate, such as longer limbs for greater sweat efficiency. However, their diet and their physical adaptations don't really explain the entirety of the ancient and modern tall statures that is recorded by these groups. Therefore, what other explanations exist for the height of Eastern Africans? Apart from modern interpretations whose scientific analysis we do not reject, there are other far less known factors that should influence height. We may find these clues deeper into historical observation. A great way to explain the height of East Africans is through the factor of lineages. In particular, one of the greatest reasons for this stature is the lineage of Kush. That apart from the name Nubia, Kush or Cushitic is also one of the names to refer to the peoples of East African countries that were a peoples based along the Nile River Valley, ultimately becoming the empire of Kush. However, Kush is also the name of their patriarch, Kush, whose height is partially the reason for these extremely tall statures depicted and modern lineages that still inherit lineages that are reserved for royalty. And as mentioned previously, these lineages can be up to entire villages as well. Kush is the progenitor of this tall and very dark-skinned ethnic groups of peoples, whose children are some of the tallest men in written history, such as Nimrod, king in the land of Shinar, who is the son of Kush. Moreover, Kushites, especially these ancient lineages, are getting shorter, as evidenced by their ancient depictions that even though they are tall today, their lineage has experienced much dilution. And this can be explained by intermarriage and waves of migration. Remnants of their lineages can still be seen today within lineages that are only reserved for chiefdoms and lineages can be seen among the phenotypes of entire villages. Take the royal lineage of Manut Bol that at a whopping natural seven feet and seven inches, affirms his grandfather and chief of his village to have been 7 feet with 10 inches tall, to which alludes to the tall peoples depicted in the art of the kingdom of Kush, whose tall characteristics are not associated to any type of medical disorder. These are normal genetic traits that is inherited by ancestry. Kush was so tall because the ancestry of Kush is the result of the possible union between Ham and Noah's wife, Naama, a woman said to be of the lineage of Cain, albeit other sources claim it's Na El Tamauk, as direct mother. Other sources may suggest Naama's direct ancestry as a matriarch may indeed belong to not just Canaan, but may his brother Kush as well as a nation have Naamas' lineage trickling within this thriving empire. It's not necessarily that it's one or the other per se. Nonetheless, it's more like the existence of two different maternal ancestry values within one kingdom, among other lineages. And one holds the keys to the thrones of the Cushitic kingdoms. As of these images, it can also be implied that not every tall people's descendants of Kush take all of their height from Naama alone. Explanation that I will provide in a part two. View in this engraving of a tombstone found that is believed to be the tombstone of Naama's grave herself. So if this were to be so, the two tallest ones are Naama and Noah. We are not clear into the details, but if we analyze and we make Shem, Ham, and Japhet about six, seven to nine feet tall maximum, this would make their three wives as quite short people in comparison to the rest of them. 
This is a clear visual to the eventual height of humanity. However, this would make her Naama and Noah with the beard to the right probably somewhere between 9 feet tall and the maximum maybe up to 15 feet tall. As you can bear with me with this wild height approximate. Taking this from the tested and confirmed finger bone found right at her burial site. We can clearly see that these height estimations are highly likely based on the height this individual must have projected to carry such a sizable mere finger bone. That upon comparing it next to a normal modern day human being, it is evident this finger bone would clearly belong to a massive person.